Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Gary, the Bearded Woodworker. Thank you for joining me today. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I created a custom sofa table slash shelf thing that holds DVDs. And yes, we still have DVDs. I am making the whole shelf out of three quarter inch birch plywood. And the first thing I need to do is take my circular saw and cut it down to a rough width, rough dimensions, so I can clean it all up on the table saw. I don't use a straight edge, but I should. I just take my time, and go right along my pencil line. I'm just trying to get as smooth and as straight of a line as I can. I'll clean it up later here on the table saw. All right, before I put the edge banding on, I want to kind of give this a quick sanding, get rid of some of this tear out. Really looks like I need to change my blade. Now that I have sanded the edges, getting rid of the fray from my table saw, it's time to add the edge banding. What the edge banding is gonna do is put a veneer on the edge, getting rid of this plywood look, making it look more like a solid wood. I bought this on Amazon, it's three quarter inch birch pre-glued 250 feet of it for ah, $25 or something like that. I think it's a really good deal. And what you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself an iron, preferably an old iron, not your wife's iron. Trust me on this. Uh, anyways, I've got it set to almost high, kind of your cotton setting, I guess. Take a rag here, I'm gonna put it in my teeth so I don't mar up the wood. Start on one end here. I happen to have a scrap of dowel here. I'm just gonna wanna burnish it on and make sure it gets full contact. Now I've got this handy dandy little tool. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, it has blades here on either side. So you grab it, you squeeze it. <laughs> and just like that, it cuts off the edge. And then I'll take a razor blade
So, now that I got them done, let's just put the carcass together and uh, see what we got. Alright, now we'll grab a clamp. Now that I have the carcass together, I'm going to take my legs and I'm going to put up a stop block and I'm going to cut all of these to 33 inches and that's going to give me the total height plus whatever slab top that I end up putting on this. In order for me to take a proper measurement, I'm going to set these legs in place. <coughs> to do this little detail here which is on our TV console I kind of want to match it for our living room I want to be able to start here and just bend it until I hit that mark Something like that.
All right, before putting on the last of the back legs here, uh, I want to go ahead and put the backing on. So I am putting the legs on flush with the backing, and I'm going to use a uh, piece of quarter inch plywood that I cut off behind the scenes. And before I do that, I want to double check and make sure it is square 58 and a half. Fifty-eight and a half. Hot diggity damn! Oh, I'm gonna add some glue, and then I'm going to uh, glad nail it on. My next step would be, I believe I'm going to probably caulk these seams, give everything a nice once over and sanding, prime it, paint it white, and then, well, I'm going to fill in all these holes. That's what I'll do, fill all these holes, sand it, prime it, paint it, and then we'll come up with the top for this. Awesome. Now I'm going to take some 120 and I'm going to just lightly sand sand the whole entire face and then I want to feel the smoothest. If I missed anything, you'll feel it with your fingers. We're just knocking off the 
grain that's raised during the priming process, getting ready for a nice smooth finish. Well, I'm going to use uh, Sherwin-Williams Emerald. It's a urethane trim enamel. It's water-based. Uh, this stuff takes about 30 days to dry, fully cure, and it becomes super hard. And this is what I used in my uh, kitchen reno, if you guys have been following me and saw any of those videos. I painted my kitchen cabinets. As a matter of fact, I'm still painting my kitchen cabinets. Uh, <clears throat> my wife would like me to move a little quicker on that. But, anyway, so we're gonna give it a stir. I found this years ago in one of the sheds here on my property. It's got pretty bad crack. I don't even know if you want to call this a check. It runs almost all the way through it. I could probably snap it in half. I can feel it. So 12 inches seems to be where that crack is. So I'm going to trim off this side and I'm going to trim it to size this way and then I'm going to rip it down on the table saw. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this work. I could probably glue it. This is going to be the back. Maybe I'll glue it and put some epoxy in here. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna rip this down, get rid of all the breakage. I'm gonna rip this down, get all of the breakage, and then I'll glue these two panels together. And uh, I think that'll work.
Well, now I have to let it dry, probably overnight, getting late in the day. Hopefully I'll get back to it tomorrow and not wait another month or two to get back to it. I was hoping that I could just do this in one board, but the circumstances as they are, it just didn't turn out. This wasn't a perfect board, but I do like the thickness of it. I think it's going to make a great tabletop. Patience, that's all I need. Well, I did good and it's the next day. Too bad. I can send it through the planer. I believe <clears throat> this on the bottom, this on the top. Oh, well, let's find my planer. It's over there. Right, boy. Right, right, right. Like, like. This stuff is pretty old. There's chunks in it, but it looks like it's still working. I just did the backside. I'm gonna let that sink and soak in for about 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and put a second coat on. I'm gonna wait 15 minutes after that. I'm gonna wipe it off. Uh, I'm loving it. Now really, I think I'm gonna take the simple way out. I'm going to countersink six screws. So I'm going to uh, drill out the holes first, place my countertop on it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put one and a quarter inch screws in there. It's gonna screw on the top. I think six, six will hold just fine. With the top on it, I'm gonna call this bad boy done. So I do appreciate you guys watching. If you liked my content and you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button, even hit that bell notification. If you'd like, you know the drill. It lets you know when I put out a new video. Give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel grow. If you have any questions or comments, you know, down in the bottom.